Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Ron Reynolds, and I'm proud to stand here before you this evening to announce that I'm a candidate for House District 27. I'm proud to have my wife, Janita, here, and uh, also my, my dad here this evening. And one of the things uh, I want you to know is that I have so much passion for public service. I'm a lawyer by trade. Uh, I grew up in Fort Bend County. I uh, went to uh, Blue Ridge Elementary, so I have a lot of love and admiration for Fort Bend County. After uh, coming out of high school, I went to Texas Southern University, and uh, that's when I got my first blush at wanting to be a public servant. I was an intern for Senator Rodney Ellis my senior year in college, and I got a chance to spend a semester in Austin, Texas, and that opened my eyes to what public servants do. I knew I wanted to go to law school when I finished college, but I didn't know at the time that I wanted to be a public servant. And one of the things that was instilled in me at an early age is that to whom much is given, much is required. And I've been blessed as a, as a lawyer uh, to, to have a good living, but my passion has always been to help the community. And over the past five years, I've served as president of the NAACP in Fort Bend County. As Susan mentioned earlier, I'm also uh, the vice president, co-vice president of the Fort Bend Democrats. I've served in a number of roles, but it's always been about service for me. Service is so important. I think being a public official, you get a chance to help people. And that's one of the things that I enjoy doing so much. I believe that a public servant is there to serve the public. You should never put the interests of yourself before the people that you represent. Essentially what we do is speak out for you. One of my favorite scriptures comes from, from Proverbs 31 to 89. And I, I try to fashion my life by this. And it, it says, speak out for the one who cannot speak for the rights of those who are doomed. Speak out, judge fairly, and defend the rights of oppressed and needy people. Over my years, of practicing law and my years as a public servant by serving as president of the NAACP. I've helped hundreds of people with civil rights issues. As a personal injury trial lawyer, I've helped a small person go against the big insurance company and I've been proud to win a number of cases. My history and my past has prepared me for this moment. And when I was a young lawyer, I was uh, recommended to, uh, to be president of the Houston Lawyers Association, which uh, Harrison Gregg and, and uh, some other people are, are members of. And I was the youngest person to ever serve as president of the Houston Lawyers Association. <clears throat> Mary Lee P. Brown appointed me as an associate municipal judge for the city of Houston. And at the time, I was the youngest person to ever hold that post. When I was in college, I served as president of the Student Government Association. In law school, I served as president of the uh, Black Lawyers and also the Minority Law Student Association. So every step of my life, every organization I've been a part of, I've been encouraged to run for president of that organization. I think my leadership, my track record will help me to be an effective legislator, to help bring accountability to Fort Bend County. My, my goal and my platform is very simple. Education, healthcare, and economic empowerment. Education is my passion. I believe that our children are our future. We have to help our teachers to educate our kids. Teachers are so frustrated right now because they're teaching to the test. They are not been able to be free to teach the fundamentals. And I think my time <laughs> is up. Thank you very much.